Right, Paul, easy question to start with. Why would you want to buy a football club? I think what I've bought is a business with potential, actually. It just happens to be a football club. I've clearly got uh, an interest in sport, and it's well documented. I've tried to buy a football club before. Um, I've obviously bought a significant number of racehorses now. So uh, what, what football brings to, to business is, is that added excitement, if you like, of the bit that you can't control, the, the, the on-the-field wins or losses, and that feeling that it makes you feel when you win or lose the same as when you would be when you were a boy and you went to watch your your favourite football team. Um, so, so it's that additional excitement. Business is, an, is interesting to me. I, I find it enjoyable. I think football just adds another layer of excitement. So uh, no, I'm very excited to be involved. I'm in a fortunate position where I can be involved and it's something I'm looking forward to doing. When did you first become interested in Port Vale? Because it sounds like it was fairly recently. About two weeks ago, um, we spoke to um, Bob Young when we found out that the preferred bidder had, had fallen away. Um, we then had a meeting here at Vale Park with, with Bob. Again, that was probably about two weeks ago, and um, we then sent a, a, a team of people here doing some financial due diligence, which we, we completed um, the early part of uh, last week. Um, we then set about putting in place the, the legal um, heads of terms and the, the agreement with that, and we, we paid our deposit on Friday. So, uh, yeah, not, not a very long time at all. Um, it's the way that we like to do business. If we want to get involved in something, we, we get involved in it. Um, if, if I had my way, I would have already bought the club and paid for it. But obviously, the, 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 there are rules that exist around uh, football league approval and, and so on, and we, we can't con really control the timing of that. But, uh, but that's something that hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll go through over the next couple of weeks, and we'll be, uh, we'll be in a good place. And what's Paul Bale got that other football league clubs that you may have considered haven't got? No baggage, I think. And we, we, we'll actually own our own stadium, which is a huge benefit. The club will have no debt. It'll own its own um, stadium, um, and it's got huge amount of potential. It's got a very, very loyal fan base, which has been tested to its nth degree. If you if you actually look at um, this and you look at it as a as a different form of business, um, what you what you would be looking at is how loyal is the customer base. That's been tested um, uh, over the past few years, uh, and and the answer to that can only be extremely loyal. Well, if you've got a loyal customer base, you've got the start of a very strong business, and, and that's something that, I, that I'm, I'm, I'm keen to uh, make sure that we we, we, we maximise. Obviously, you, you know that the politics of the situation mm. here, you know, it's a bit of a sort of minefield. The supporters, as you said, have been yeah. through the mill. Um, what would you say that your sort of short-term and medium goals would be? Well, my short-term goal is to get past the scepticism of, is he really going to buy the football club? Um, uh, and that's something that hopefully will get resolved over the next few weeks. Um, and once we've done that, then I, uh, uh, we'll, we'll hold um, a forum with the supporters. I've clearly got my own um, ideas about where the club off the field needs to, to, to be developed. Mickey will have his ideas about where the club on the field needs to be developed and he'll get my support in, in that area. Um, but I think, for me, a, cri a critical thing is about becoming transparent and, and making sure that everybody knows, um, supporters, staff, um, sponsors, know where the club is going, where we want to take the club and, and, and uh, we, we'll, we'll then enter a, a new period, if you like, of a, of a transparent business that, that is in communication with its customers. On that note, um, are you uh, keen to have a dialogue with the supporters club? Very much. Um, I think, as I said, um, I think the key thing for me is to get the next couple of weeks out of the way because I think holding a fans forum now or a supporters club meeting now the vast majority of the meeting will be taken over by are you actually going to pay for the club or not um, uh, and I think that just needs to be dealt with and, and put by given the fact what's happened in the past um, I've, I've absolutely you know under normal circumstances people would say well he's paid a significant deposit so he's bound to want to complete but I'm aware of the history so that that's something that I just want to get past as quick as I can as soon as I've done that then yes we'll be opening dialogues with with the support of club yourselves and as well as well as a more wider um, fans forum. Now we never got a straight answer to this with the previous preferred bidder. If someone, a layman, was to say to you, "What's your what's your job, Paul? What do you do?" What would you say to them? I'd say I'd say I was a businessman. It's a very interesting question. I'm sure my fiance had answered that in a different way. Um, I think uh, you know, for me, uh, my my job is, is, is business and, and and looking at companies that I own. I'm very fortunate that in all the businesses I have a very competent team of people running them for me. So I don't run businesses day to day per se. What I do do is bring surround myself with talented people, um, and those talented people um, go on to make the business successful um, in their own particular area, in their own particular business. Um, so if, if you like, I'd say my job is is a manager of people. 
uh, and that's something that I enjoy doing. It's something I get a lot of satisfaction out of, and I'll be doing exactly the same thing here. And last quick question, really, is um, on November the 17th, you've obviously got the unveiling here of the yeah. Royce Brosen statue. Yeah. It's been a, a long wait. It's been the best part of 11 years. People, uh, it means an awful lot to, to Port Vale supporters. Yeah. Presumably, they, they can rely on you to help make it a, a good day for everybody, a celebration. What I can promise them uh, it, it is something that they will probably remember for many, many years to come and, and that's something that I'll make a commitment for now, something that the club will um, clearly support and, and make sure it is, is a great day for everyone. Wonderful. And from the supporters club, we'd like to wish you all the very best going Thank forward. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.